YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy DB Case. We're back with another video, man. We got a clothing banger for you guys today. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great because I got so much heat back here. Little delay. These are my fall pickups going into winter, however you want to consider it. These are just my pickups. You guys know recently I dropped a, a video saying that I'm back and, you know, I'm just playing catch up with life and just everything, especially these pickups, man. I just can't get this stuff out as quick as I used to be able to for the past couple of years. Depending on where you live, you can still get a lot of this stuff warm before it gets too cold. Or if it's too hot, then I guess you don't have to worry about it. But here in Virginia, we're still sitting at about between 55 in the morning to like 70 degrees in the evening. So I'm literally gonna try to rock all of this stuff before it's just entirely too cold. So let's go ahead and get straight to some of the pickups. All right, so we are going to start with the banger, my first ACG fleece all right this thing is incredibly soft polar tech on the sleeve but this thing is fire it just really caught my attention it's color blocked it's literally called the acg color blocked uh thermo fit or something like that i don't know exactly what to call this type of hoodie but you guys see it it's different it's got the same thing on the sleeves black like a baby blue and a bright orange and red um so much could be worn with this shoe and you can have a lot of fun with it and it's actually thin but it's very soft and it's very warm like i put it on inside of this room and when i did i was like damn it's actually pretty warm wearing this jacket right now let me know what you guys think about this i think this hit for about 80 something dollars after the sale most of these jackets came from in clothing so while we are on the topic of nike fleeces this here is very very nice this is the Nike Thermoflit fleece. It's a half zip or a quarter zip, excuse me. So you can zip all the way down right here. And it's like a light ore. Light ore is the color. So basically it's a mixture between like a very light gray and a very light tan. Beautiful color, double pockets on the front of it. And this is gonna match a lot of stuff. It's almost as if that one just says ACG and then this one just says Nike on it. ACG, of course, did cost a little bit more than this one, but you could wear this with a ton of stuff. My idea, what I'm thinking, since it's so plain and the colors are so neutral, I'm thinking about wearing something that's just gonna pop. I might just go crazy with it, like maybe like a neon Air Max 95 or something like that. I don't know why that popped in my head. You guys should look at this and already know what it is. This is the Nike Lab Solo Swoosh hoodie. Now let me talk about this for a second. I did a video that did extremely well, so shout out to you guys for that. But anyways, I was comparing this to the club fleece. Um, this is definitely better in quality. I'd say the biggest thing was the sizing. I can't remember at this moment, but at the time, I don't remember mentioning how big the sleeves are, right? So it is an oversized fit. So what I did for you guys, I caught this in a small. So I actually went down a size from my original hoodie that I got, which was gray. It was a size medium, so definitely expect a sizing comparison video between both Nike Lab hoodies and medium and a small, should you size down, should you not. But this color is fire. This is the sulfur color. It's spot on if you have the Desert Moss 4. Actually, no, this is called Desert Moss, yeah. So if you got the Desert Moss 4s, these are gonna kill it. This is one of those colors that's very hard to match to the T. I don't know why, but I, I look at this and I think of like a Nigel Sylvester Jordan 1. Color is definitely different, but that's why you should definitely follow me on Instagram at DV underscore kicks. A lot of stuff that I post on my YouTube, you're gonna see it actually styled on my Instagram, right? But this color's fire. This was on sale as well. These Nike Lab hoodies actually hit for about $100 after tax if you get them on Nike.com. So this one was like 50 or 60. They had a, a bleach coral, they had a turquoise, but this one being that it is fall winter, I had to get this one. And the Nike Lab hoodie is thick and heavy enough for you guys to wear it if it's like 40 degrees out, you know, layer it with a vest or something like that. That's probably what I'm gonna do. And you guys are golden. Now this did not come from in clothing, but it came from one of my favorite brands. I've been rocking with them for a while. This is J. Crew, but I got spoiled, man. I, I look for the specific kinds of items on J. Crew, right? If you guys don't know, there's a J. Crew factory and the regular J. Crew, just like you have a Gap outlet and a regular Gap, there is a quality difference. I'm not saying that the J. Crew factory stuff isn't good, 
but I've spoke on this before. I look for the heritage blends. The tags are gonna be a little bit different. You're gonna notice a huge price difference. This is a $128 hoodie. Of course, I didn't pay that much. I think I ended up paying maybe $60 for it. And you guys see the one I'm, I'm wearing right now. This is actually, is this J. Crew? Yeah, this, yeah. So this is actually a J. Crew Heritage Fleece hoodie. I believe it's 14 ounce cotton. I'm not sure. Anything I can find, I will link it down in the description box below. But it's a wash black. And as I'm wearing it, you guys are gonna notice the more you wear it, wash it, don't dry it. The more you wear it, it's gonna break in. It's gonna loosen up a little bit and it just gets softer. But I love J. Crew hoodies, man. And this red is what you call a holiday red very spot on with your jordan 3 fire red but I, I definitely recommend checking out j crew man definitely check out some of their items not that you need to match your items or your shoes to the t it's up to you i'm not like a 100 matchy matchy guy but for a color for before a color reference check out the fire red 3 with this jacket and it's literally the exact same so i might have to i might have to put this together man because Fire Red 3s are amazing, right? One of my other favorite brands, I can always rely on Carhartt Work in Progress. This is the Chase hoodie, all gray, with just a small hit of gold on the logo right there on the sleeve. And by the way, all these jackets that I'm wearing are size medium, and I would say they all fit true to size, with the exception of the, the Solo Swoosh hoodie. The Solo Swoosh hoodie, that definitely fits bigger, all right? So I size down on that, and this has such a soft, lining guys i'm telling you this hit for about 60 something dollars retail usually i think they're 80 dollars or something like that so they're not cheap but it's always good to have multiple hoodies in the same color so i have a gray nike hoodie but i'm a little bit extra so i'm not gonna wear a gray nike hoodie with a gray new balance or something like that so i ordered another gray hoodie that i could find on sale and i love it man it's very very good hoodie. Only problem with Carhartt Work in Progress is that they are expensive. The quality is very good, but they definitely tax. Back to J. Crew, sweatpants. Sweatpants are definitely essential for the fall and winter. I mean, you can wear them around the house, you can wear them around the store. I like sweatpants because it's like, if you don't wanna get like, you wanna get fresh, but you don't wanna get too, too fresh, and you wanna be comfortable, throw on a pair of high quality sweatpants. Now, it may be hard to tell from the video, but these are amazing, amazing quality. And like I was saying earlier, when it comes to J. Crew, you just gotta pay attention to the tags. This is the Heritage line. This is 14 ounce cotton, so these are heavy. I, I would probably say they're, honestly, these are better quality than Essentials. You got a normal cuff, and these definitely fit big. So check out the reviews, but I'm telling you just from trying them on, that they definitely are not a true to size fit. So I sized down from a medium to a small. I did lose a little bit of weight, but still, everybody in the comments said, hey, size down and you're gonna have a perfect fit, all right? So for reference, I am 5'8", about 160 pounds, size eight. Uh, my pants are medium or a 32 to like a 33. The last pickup that I do have is a pair of denim. These are from All Saints. I scooped these at the All Saints outlet in Orlando, Florida. Very nice, great quality pair of pants and a very nice wash as well. They have a nice stretch to them. These run a little bit small. These are actually a size 34 and this is the Joey pair. So uh, they make different styles. So they have the Joey, the cigarette skinnies, which is like real skinny pants um, and different times, uh, different kinds of fits and washes. This is like between a skinny and a slim fit. All right, they're not too skinny to where they really, really hug your your knees and your ankles because I'm not into that thing anymore, but they're just a very nice slim fit. And I will say it is a brand that's overseas. I believe it's UK. So a lot of their clothing is made a lot slimmer. So let me know what you guys think about these hoodies. Do you guys own any of this stuff or any of these brands? I definitely rock with all of these brands on a regular basis. And if you guys want to see more content like this, definitely check out some of these playlists or videos that I will throw up on the screen. And definitely don't forget to give me a follow at DB underscore kicks. And I appreciate you guys coming through, man. Showing love to the channel. Your boy DB Kicks is out.